Hey guys, I'm back. Um, if you're just tuning in and you didn't see my first video, um, this is going to be part two. The first one was like seven minutes long, so I decided to start another topic. Um, I wanted to answer a few questions um, that were on the forums and that I've gotten here and that I've asked. Um, how do I say this? I am wondering what uh, the ideal body type is that everyone perceives as beautiful. It's the one that they want, their goal weight. Um, I'm always, I know, like, you know, you girls, you see somebody in a store or something and you're like, oh, I wish I looked like her. But is it, like, the Megan Fox type girl, or, you know, is it, let's see, I always think of, like, Lauren Elena from American Idol. Um, she's not, like, super thin, I'd say she's probably, like, a, maybe 10, 12, I would say, maybe. Um, I tend to think, oh, I want to look like her with the Lauren Elena body type instead of like the Megan Fox like super skinny big boobs booty um I don't think that's realistic for me of course I'm probably not as tall as Megan Fox and I don't think I'll ever be that skinny so my ideal weight I won't know until I get there because I have not been you know a normal weight as an adult so I only know what I was like in middle school and I was chunky anyway so I don't I'm not sure what my ideal weight will be I want to say about 150 I've always had 150 in my head so if I can get a little bit lower than 150 that might be good but it depends on my body I don't want to lose my curves I want to have like the hips I want to have the boobs hopefully the boobs won't go anywhere maybe a little bit but when I lost weight with Weight Watchers, my boobs, like, shrunk, and then they, like, I don't know. They're kind of back where they were now, but they were, like, saggy. There was, like, a lot of extra skin, so I'm hoping that won't happen with the surgery. Um, <sighs> I wanted to go over uh, fear. I met a couple girls on the forums. I go on verticalsleevetalk.com. And I always ask, like, what, what's your biggest fear of having the surgery or after the surgery? Um, as far as during the surgery, of course, I have to travel from New Jersey. <coughs> Excuse me. I have iced coffee. It's really good. Um, as far as... During the surgery, of course, I have the fear of uh, not waking up and not reacting well, well to the anesthesia. Um, before the surgery, I have to have... I, I'm not sure if I told you guys or not in the last video, but uh, I have to go down there. I'll be down there. Uh, I go down on a Sunday. I check in. Monday and Tuesday are testing days. The testing days are kind of scary because I do have a pain in my stomach. I haven't told them about. And I don't know if it's because I lost a lot of weight and then I gained some back. <clears throat> now I feel achy all over. So I don't know if that's part of it. I don't know if I'm just like a lumpy girl. I don't know what's going on. But I do have a pain. And I should probably show you guys where it is in case you guys have it. Excuse my messy house. It was just spring cleaned yesterday. Go figure. Okay, and I guess this is going to count as my full body shot too, so. I don't know how much I've actually gained back. I haven't been on the scale, but this is a full body shot. And, <coughs> excuse me, the pain is over here. This is my left side. The pain is over here, and it's mostly like when I sleep at night. It's like after I eat. Your gallbladder is over here under your ribs. It has been hurting there a little bit, but that's just recent. It started out over here. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
but it hurts. And then sometimes I have a pain back here, but I think I have a bad back anyway. So I don't know if it's just like my back or my kidneys or what. My doctor did say, since the gallbladder is over here, sometimes the pain will radiate over here. This is my right side, this is my left side. Gallbladder's on this side, the right side. It could radiate over here, so I don't know. But this is my full full body shot. I won't show you guys my tummy yet, but um, after I have surgery, I want you guys to know you're going through the surgery with me. Um, I will be recording everything. My mom will be with me for the first um, six days. So I'm going to have her hopefully film when I'm waking up in recovery because I would like to see that too. Because when I had my wisdom teeth out, she said I was like real goofy. Like I'd wake up and I'd be like, this is awesome. This is so cool. And then I'd fall back asleep. Um, come back on. Okay, I keep getting dim. Um, so I want her to record that and... I'm going to be showing you guys videos of everything because I like watching people go through the actual process of it. Um, I'll show you guys my scars, I'll show you guys the drain, everything. Um, my other biggest fears, like during the surgery, are the catheter because that just, it grosses me out. I don't know if it's because I've dealt with it before being in the healthcare field. But that's always been a thing to gross me out. And to have it in me, on me, I don't know what you would say, in me. It just, the I can't even think about it. So that's a fear, even though everybody says it doesn't hurt at all. Um, I have to have an endos, endoscopy, I think it is. Endoscope, endoscopy. Um, which is a tube, I think it goes in your nose and down your throat. I'm not sure how far it goes. I can't bring myself to watch a video. There was videos on YouTube about it and I can't, I can't do it. I'd rather not know. So people say that's not bad either and you won't remember anything. So um, it, this is still one of my fears. Um, of course, not waking up and all that stuff. That's a big fear too. Um, I was watching a video and I can't, knew, what was her name? New Faith, or hold on, let me look. I texted it to somebody. Um, she had it done, and she said she was nauseous, like, a lot. My Strength, 1303. She looks gorgeous. Um, she lost a lot. I'm not sure exactly how much. But she lost a lot, and she looks fantastic. And... She said that she, come on, mf -er. Okay. Um, she said that she was nauseous a lot, like, the first couple days. So, thank God I am staying down there for 12 days. And if I do have a problem, I can go right back to the doctor. Um, my fear is after. I'm afraid that I'm going to end up not happy for one reason or another between... The loose skin, I don't want to have, like, a lot of loose skin. I'm not sure. I, I know a lot of people are bigger than me that are having this surgery. So I'm hoping I can use that to my advantage. Um, I was asking my boyfriend last night, do you think I'll have a lot of loose skin? Because his mom had um, gastric bypass surgery, but then she had, like, work done. Um, my mom had it, and I don't think she has loose skin. She was about my size when she had it. And she didn't work out or anything, so I think she's just lucky. She never had any of that. So, he said, probably not, and we do have ways to kind of shrink it. We do have a hot tub, and we do have a sauna. So, I can always do my sauna workouts and, you know, put it around <clears throat> my waist, the uh, sweatband thingy or whatever. It's a rubber band. Um... So I'm afraid that I'm going to end up getting to goal and just not like my body or not be happy with it. Um, that's one of my biggest fears. Um, also, I don't want to get down there and have them like find, oh no, your gallbladder or something like that and say, oh, we can't do it. That sucks. Um, I'm worried about people asking. 
Because you know, when one of your friends loses a lot of weight and everyone's like, oh, how'd you do it? Do I tell them? Because, you know, if I post a picture on Facebook and I have lost a lot of weight, then people are going to be like, well, how'd you do it? I don't want everybody to know. Like, I don't mind my clothes. I have told, like, a few of my friends. But I don't want everybody to know. So how do I go about doing that? If you've been in this situation, let me know. I don't want to be like, oh, I had surgery. And I think one of my friends might have had surgery. And I asked her, I said, so what's your secret? And she said, oh, I went to a nutritionist and I stopped eating sugar. I don't know if I buy it. She lost pretty quickly. Um, and she looks fantastic, but I was just wondering. Um, I'm worried about my relationship changing. My mom and dad were married for 50 years. Almost, no, 25, almost 25 years. Why did I say 50? Oh, my God. Um, they were married for, like, 23 years. My mom had her surgery, and after that, my dad started cheating on her and ended up leaving. Same thing happened with my boyfriend's mom and dad. So, I'm just worried about my relationship changing, but he's, <laughs> he's turned into a pretty big guy, too, alongside of me turning into a big girl again. Although, I was never a little girl, but... I got down to, like, 235, and I was semi-happy. Um, so he's going to be working out with me, hopefully, hopefully, if I can drag him off the couch. Um, so we're planning this to be, like, a full lifetime change, and hopefully that'll happen. Um, hopefully our relationship will change for the better. Um, a lot of people have said their hair falls out, so that's another one of my fears. And my fear, <coughs> excuse me, right after surgery is lifting. I think the girl in the office said four weeks and you can lift 20 pounds or something. Well, I have like 65, 70 pounds to lift. I work in healthcare and I take care of a disabled child and I have to lift him. It's a requirement. So I've already talked to his mom because we're like really close and she said, don't worry about it. Do what you have to do. We'll take care of it. So I'm worried about how that's going to work out. But I'll have a bunch of days off from work. I'll have like two full weeks. Like 14 days, I think. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I'll have 15 days off of work. And some of that's, you know, right after the surgery. But I guess that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Took two videos to do it, but whatever. Um, I need to try to find my camera, my little camera, by the time I have surgery. So, I oh, I want to tell you guys, I switched my date from 424 to 414 for my consultation. So... That might be my next video unless I have something else to talk about. But it's 10 days earlier and the reason I did it was because the April 24th video that, or video, uh, appointment that they gave me for the consult for the doctor, um, it's at 3 o'clock and that's like my busiest time at work. So um, I asked her if she had anything earlier and she said, well, I have the 14th at 2 o'clock. So I said, that's perfect because I have off Tuesdays. Um, with my first patient. So, that's cool. Um, I guess that's it for now. I'll let you guys go. I hope everybody's having an awesome St. Patty's Day. Don't drink and drive. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.